rather odd situation going on in Ukraine. Uh, this is second uh, Sukhoi 27, the SU-27 uh, that has crashed in just here in, in months here. Uh, the pilot attempting to do a, a routine training landing uh, crashed his Sukhoi 27 and was killed in the crash there. This is according to uh, uh, Defense Blog on their website right there. I actually had seen this on Twitter earlier. One one of the Twitter Twitter guys there had shared that information, and uh, I'm just still kind of going through things today, guys. Before I make any uh, official news broadcast here, but uh, also anonymous hackers exposed UK plans to mine Sevastopol days before the Crimean vote. Uh, that's not something that just came out recently on Sputnik. Uh, leaked a new portion of the documents related to activities of the Integrity Initiative, a UK-based company claiming to be fighting propaganda and disinformation, but primarily focusing on Russia. According to the documents published by the uh, hacktivist known as Anonymous, the Inte Integrity, uh, excuse me, Integrative Initiative is funded by the Institute of Statecraft, whose director appears to be Christopher Don Don uh, Donnelly, a special advisor of the House of Commons Defense Committee. Uh, just kind of odd there. It says, piece of leaked data from 24 indicates that Donnelly laid out a number of suggestions to the British authorities just day before Crimean unification with Russia that including mining Sevastopol Harbor. Wow. And that, that's just that's just the kind of uh, type of um, recommendations that we need in order to be able to have a better relationship with Russia, right? Now, I'm saying that very uh, 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 facetiously, of course, you know, it's definitely no way to have a good relationship with Russia. Also, this poor girl here, uh, Butina, tormented into guilty plea, according to Russian experts, denounced U.S. miscarriage of justice in Butina's case there. This young lady has really been a target of the U.S. campaign against Russia. And after what we see uh, with the Huawei company, the Chinese uh, Miss Meng and how she was treated as a pawn for U.S. officials to try to get a better deal with China, I can only imagine that Miss Butina has also fell into the same type of trap. Well, she got arrested. All kinds of charges you could ever possibly imagine were hung on this poor girl uh, and, you know, scare her into a, a guilty plea and probably not guilty at all, just trying to enjoy time in America and enjoy some of the freedoms that we have in this country, only to be used as a spy tool. I highly doubt, doubt she is a spy. I mean, quite frankly, not the way she was caring about herself. It's just not the way you do it. You don't go to the NRA as a Russian uh, student and, uh, well, anyway, I'll go into that later. Also, one other big issue here that I'm watching on the Jerusalem Post here, and that is that the U.S. Navy may not be allowed to be docking their ships at the port of Haifa. Whoa, what are you talking about there? You got it, guys. Uh, according to the article here that's uh, come out, U.S. Navy may stop docking in Haifa after Chinese takeover port lets you know. The U.S. is on the way out. I guess the United States has kind of, well, you know, what was it said at one point? We're just going to take and, you know, suck them dry. Once that's all done, drop them and leave them. You may not believe that, guys, but that's exactly what's happening. And uh, unfortunately, now China is the new kid in town. And uh, so the U.S. Navy and, of course, Americans myself included, have stood with Israel, all of our hearts, um, for many, many years. And, uh, and I still stand with my Israeli people uh, 100%, but I do not stand with the policies of the Zionist-led Likud party and all the evils that they have done to Israelis. They have done to the believers of Israelis that are Israeli believers, uh, as well as to the Palestinian people. Uh, the crimes that have been committed against them. Now, granted, Palestinians are committing crimes against Israelis as well. But if you knew how many of the crimes are staged, it would trouble you to the core. Anyway, I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Just a brief uh, clip here today, guys, and uh, we'll be getting with you guys late tonight. I don't know if we'll go live or pre-record. We'll see. Erev Tov.